On December 15th, Gadan is having municipal elections. Once more, ritual killings of children and others are being used by politicians who hope to increase their luck before elections. There is someone found dead and mutilated somewhere in Gabon every one to two days. The killing of young Catherine four years old, in late October 2013 reminded us of the brutality of ritual crimes against children. The phenomenon has increased dramatically since President Ali Bunga's fraudulent elections in 2009. People of Gabon have asked corrupt President Ali Bunga, for too long, to do something about ritual crimes. He made promises to end them during a mock propaganda march with his wife in May 2013. In response to anonymous pressure, nothing has happened. Ritual killings are fueled by elections and greed. People are killed and mutilated for elections that will be full of fraud anyway. In local elections taking place in Gabon, we see once again the refusal to create a transparent election. Many multiple listings were found in the electoral register. Gabonese challenged the presence of many foreigners as candidates in local elections. Many candidates are members of the Bungo family, including Ali Bungo's mother. The Bungo family has been ruling Gabon for more than 46 years and their fraudulent elections are accepted by the international community. Gabon is an oil-rich country with one of the highest GDPs in Africa, but over 80% of the 1.5 million Gabonese live below the poverty line. The majority make less than two U.S. dollars per day. According to Yahoo Finance, Ali Bungo and his associates pocketed 25% of Gabon's GDP in the last three years with the help of his international supporters. In the meantime, Ali Bungo authorizes force with tear gas to be used against children of young as 10 years old, protesting for better schools and the return of teachers to class. International oil, banking, and infrastructure firms are supporting this terrible regime in Gabon. Total, Shell, Perinco, Tala Oil, Sinopec, Avalco, Citigroup, Bank of America, BGFI, AXA Insurance, Dollar Bleeds, Petrolin, Bechtel, New York Forum Africa, just to name a few. Some of the bank city, HSBC, BO have been implicated in fraud and money laundering with the Bungo family and their friends. Accountants and lawyers in developed countries are helping as well. All the big money and corruption is fueling ritual killings because those ordering the killings expect them to bring money and power. The United Nations, including UNICEF, is doing nothing to help children being slaughtered in Gabon. Gabon is a member of the United Nations Human Rights Council. The UN is not doing enough to denounce ritual crimes publicly. The people of Gabon are fed up. They are tired of being tortured and beaten by the very politicians who are stealing their livelihood. They are tired of the international community praising the Bungo regime for the benefits his greed brings to their corporations. Anonymous has lost patience with the Bungo regime and his enablers. Operation Gabon, engaged. We are anonymous. We are everywhere. We are the voice of the voiceless. We are legion, tyrants of the world. Expect us.